Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about stars and how it relates to the HR diagram. What in the world is that? That is actually something that we use that's kind of graphed out so we know where the star lies and kind of what stage in the life cycle of a star that a star is. Now, HR stands for Hertz, Brown, Russell, but we're just going to say HR diagram for short. So go ahead and label your page of your notes, get out your notebooks or a sheet of paper, HR diagram. Okay, so I said it was kind of like a chart. So we're going to just draw like a graph. We have our x-axis and our y-axis. So down here, this is typically going to be your temperature. And this can also call, be called the class. Now on this side, we call this absolute magnitude or luminosity. Luminosity, that's kind of a big word. What does that word mean? Luminosity. So think about like when something illuminates, it lights up. So this is going to be like our brightness. So I'm just going to write that here as well. Brightness. Okay. Now, think about in science, we usually measure in degrees Celsius. Well, we're talking about stars. So usually these are going to be ta talked about temperature in Kelvin, or it's going to be a K. So these numbers are really, really big because we're talking about stars. Think about our sun, how hot our sun is. Well, we'll see where our sun lies on this diagram, but there's stars that are much hotter than that. So let's go ahead and label these a little bit so we can kind of know the number. Okay, so it's a little bit different than a graph you're probably used to because over here we have about 2400. That's the temperature in Kelvin. Now way over here on this side, this is going to be 34,000 Kelvin. Okay, so now you can kind of see the range, 2400, 34,000. Now, just like regular temperature, when we have a higher number, what does that mean? Higher number means it's going to be hotter. So over here is gonna be our hottest stars. And we're actually going to label this. So go ahead and if you don't have a color uh, pencil or a marker to color this in blue, you can just put blue right here. So over here, the stars are the hottest, but now it's kind of opposite. When we think of hot, we think of red. When we think of cold, we think of blue. But stars are the opposite because if you ever looked at a flame, right at the center where, it, where the flame is starting, the hottest, that's the hottest point, and that is actually blue. So when we talk about stars and burning stars, the hottest stars are going to be blue. Now over here, the coldest stars, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line. Now we're saying cold, but 2400 degrees, or 2400 Kelvin, that is actually really, really hot, right? It's not gonna be our cold like when it, it, we get a freeze or anything like this, but these are going to be red. So cold in star terms is still really, really, really hot. So these are red and hot are gonna be blue. Now, when we think about brightness, brightness, so we have our top and bottom, right? Well, at the top is actually going to be our brightest. These are gonna be the shiniest stars. And down here, they're going to be the dimmest. Okay, so now whenever you look here, you can look about towards the middle, maybe off to the right just a little bit. These are gonna be yellow, they're medium, but our sun, just to give you an idea about the stars, our sun's gonna be actually right in the middle because it's an average star. It's actually like in the middle of its life cycle. So you could say it's kind of middle-aged. Okay, so this is the HR diagram. Anytime we have a star that's on here, we'll know how hot or cold it is 
and we'll kind of know where it is on the life cycle based on where it's here. Okay, so we can even go a little bit further and we know our largest up here is going to be our super giants. That's the group of star stars all in the middle through here, including our sun. These are going to be our main sequence. That's where most of the stars spend most of their life. So it's probably this whole blob all here is our main sequence. Down here we have, so our next color would be white. These are our white dwarfs. And then we also have, under our super giants, we have our giants. And that's basically all of our stars can be classified on an HR diagram. Now, where are the hottest stars? Over here in the blue area. And where is our coldest, coldest or coolest stars? They're going to be on this side of the diagram. Pay attention to the numbers. And now our brightness is going to be measured on this axis. And where are the brightest stars? At the very top. And these are the dimmest stars. So I hope that helped you understand the HR diagram just a little bit more. And if you have any questions, let me know, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.